Hello everyone. In this INR number 98, we are going to discuss about uh, another important PYQ for all exams that is keratogonus. So it is both for uh, FMG exam as well as NEET PG exam. So it's a very important topic. So what is keratoconus? Keratoconus is a bilateral cone shaped cornea, right? So bilateral cone shaped cornea. And remember that it is not because of inflammation. So it is non-inflammatory. So what are the reason for this? So this bilateral cone shaped cornea is because of progressive myopia or irregular astigmatism. So these are the two important reason for keratoconus, right? See the name itself is kerato means cornea and conus means cone shape, right? What will be the early sign? So there are three important early sign oil drop red reflex, oil drop red reflex second is Wurtz tray so you can see here Wurtz tray the vertical lines and third is the scissor reflex so these are the three early signs in the keratoconus right so what is number one oil drop red reflex which you will see on direct ophthalmoscope right what are these things these are the dark or reddish brown circular shadow right this dark brown or reddish brown circular shadow will be disrupting the red reflex which resembles like a oil drop, right? So this is the oil drop reflex with direct ophthalmoscope. Then Wurtz tray. Wurtz tray is a slit lamp by a microscopy. So by slit lamp examination, we can see what are these things. These are the fine vertical lines because of decimate membrane compression. So you can see here, these are the fine vertical lines because of decimate membrane compression in the cornea. So that is Wurtz tray, which we will see in keratoconus. Then scissors reflex. Scissors reflex you can see on retinoscopy. So you cannot examine, uh, you cannot see the image by static image. You can see only when you are doing the experiment or when you are examining the patient. So when you are going to see this, this is a scissoring motion during the retinoscopy, right? So this is the scissoring motion during the retinoscopy, right? So what are the three important early sign? Number one, oil drop, red reflex, which we are seeing here. Number two is Wurtz cystria, which is the vertical line. And number three is scissor reflex, which is seen on retinoscopy what are the late sign in the keratoconus so late sign in here also you will be having three important sign munson sign fleischer ring and rizzuti sign these are the three things right munson sign and fleischer ring already been asked in exam so these are the pyqs so what is munson sign munson sign is localized v-shaped bulging you can see localized v-shaped bulging when a person is looking downward, right? So when a person is looking downward, so localized V-shaped bulging of the lower eyelid when they are looking down is called as Monson sign. What is Fleischer's ring? Fleischer's ring is due to iron deposition at the base of the cone, right? So iron deposition at the base of the cone, you have to use the uh, cobalt blue light to visualize them. So it can be demonstrated by cobalt blue light as a blue circle. So now in this cobalt blue light, and you can notice there are arrow had been marked. So these are the blue circle. So this blue circle, this area is called as Fleischer ring, which is having iron deposition. Third is the Rizzuti sign. What is Rizzuti sign? This is a bright reflection from the nasal area of the limbus. So you can see nasal area of the limbus is here. And this is the bright reflex, right? So this bright reflex showing the conical form of the keratoconus. So bright reflection from the nasal area of the limbus when light is directed to the limbus temporal area right so when they are directed from the limbus temporal area so that is what we are going to see this kind of rigidity sign so what are the late sign munson sign then fleischer ring and rigidity sign right then what is the investigation of choice in this patient because corneal curvature is affected so corneal curvature we can we, we can we can measure this by corneal topography or we can estimate this by corneal topography. So we will be mapping the surface curvature of the cornea and this is example of corneal topographer, right? So this is the corneal topographer which is measuring the curvature of the cornea, right? And what will be the treatment? Re treatments are rigid contact lenses, penetrating keratoplasty, intacts. So you can see this is the intacts we are seeing here. So intacts are the intracorneal ring segment. So you can see there is an intracorneal ring segment which is looking a little brighter. So these are intacts. Then dark, dark is a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty and C3R. C3R is a corneal collagen cross-linking and this corneal collagen cross-linking is with riboflavin vitamin B12 eye drops. Right. So this is what we are going to treat this patient. So these are the important point about the keratoconus. Keep revising this topic. You will get question from here. Best wishes for it.